You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Redneck Island After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show, it's AfterBuzz TV's Redneck Island After Show. Well, hey guys, uh, we are here to, oh, wait a minute. No, we are not going to do anything till we hear this song all the way through. <laughs> Great song. <laughs> I've never heard this song before. <laughs> Is this uh, Hank Williams? It's Banjo and the band. <laughs> it's John Denver. <laughs> It is, uh, oh, wait a minute. It's, it's John Denver. It's John Denver. I'm comfortable. See, I know the words. <laughs> that makes me a redneck. No? No. Speaking of rednecks, yeah. Redneck Island. Okay, so uh, welcome to another episode of Redneck Island. We are here to go over episode number seven, which was titled Balls to the Walls, gentlemen. I loved it. It's great. <laughs> Balls to the wall. And, and before we get started, let me introduce uh, myself. I am Little Egypt, and I am uh, one of your Redneck Island after show hosts. And sitting next to me is Little Sphinxy, but uh, that didn't go over well last week. So I think the Rednecks, just out of pure s sympathy, renamed them. I think so. So you um, want to know what his new name is? I can't wait. Apparently, it's Catfish, um, <laughs> since my oh. name that I was given at birth is uh, not working, so I guess we're trying to... It's better than Salmon. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd rather be <laughs> a Catfish tilapia. than or a Trout. trout. What yeah. up, Trout? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Catfish. I like it. Uh, it works. Anyway, it works. I guess it's, it's better than the Sphinxy, so I guess we're rolling Okay, with it we're now. rolling. We'll I'm just rolling. curious why everything in your family is little. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Oh, we didn't say little catfish. Right. We said catfish. 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 Yeah. Catfish okay. can get really big. Like. That's true. Okay. Well, All right. From my understanding, <laughs> as we were watching balls to the wall, I was informed of other things. Oh no! What? I don't even want to There's know. There's way too much information. Yeah. His mom's in the okay. room. Okay. Jesus. What? Across <laughs> across the table. I just want to do a huge shout out to Pinky. I remember, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah, and that's going to help all of our listeners, these little <laughs> secrets. They're like, what are you talking about? So, um, huge shout out to the PP boys of Beverly Hills, and let me, let me tell you why. Because their episode of Interior Therapy with Jeff Lewis aired last week, and it was probably the highest rating interior therapy show they ever had. Number one. I think so, yeah. <laughs> see? And if you don't, if you have haven't had a chance to see it you can still see the bonus clips on bravo tv yep. these guys are hilarious and let me and i have to tell you paul um i know i don't i don't think you were playing a character i think that was who you really are yeah try living right with them. yeah right so yeah. this whole character thing is just a bunch of bull crap you you are adorable and you can also be very fiery so you just want to stay on the right side of paul that's it Yep. That's it. It's Absolutely. not too hard. I and, guess, and I will I say. Guess, hold on. I guess you want to make sure you don't cross me. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say officially to everybody out there, we have banned Sharpies and Sledgehammers from the house. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, and if you guys want to give us a present, a Swarovski crystal, a <laughs> Sledgehammer are more than welcomed in yes. our home. We have a special place for it in our living room. We are so lucky to have you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming. I have to, to take special it. time to make my ass get here. I know, I know, and we appreciate it. So let's uh, let's go over what happened on Redneck Island yeah. on Saturday. Uh, they always start... But excuse me, I'd like to clarify something. When you say that it's not a character that I'm playing, are you referring to your host... I mean, your guest from last week who said that they were playing a character, mm -hmm. and now you're comparing yep. me no. with that same person <laughs> no, no. equally saying that what happens on the show is exactly what you think 
happened? I am no. saying that you can't use that as an excuse for who you are. And I don't think on reality television, yes, maybe they can get you in an exaggerated state, but you don't play a character on reality television. You are. I think, I but think, you can't yeah. because you've got cameras yeah. in your face right. 24 hours a day. So even if you want to play a character, like I don't believe Travis, because even if you want to play a character, yeah. you can't. Right. Well, I think you can inflame a character. I think right. you can take a persona that you have a little bit and yeah. exaggerate If it. you have a good producer <laughs> who knows how to produce, <laughs> okay? And they know the assets that each individual brings, yes. then they're able to capture certain effects mm. by them giving them the opportunity to explore oh. those aspects. Okay. That's really why I became, I was the nice guy on TV and he was the bitch. Because, you know, it's reality. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Steven in the back? I have no problem accepting <laughs> bitch. Exactly. But I also added crazy to the resume. Yes. Well, you know what? That's I, great. I, and and I, control freak. Yeah. yeah. Kudos to being honest. That's all. Yep. Kudos. You're, no, you're, there's you're no problem person. with it, though. I'm not, I'm not a control freak. <laughs> uh -huh. But if you want to see one, I can certainly dish it out. <laughs> <laughs> and Travis can, can can guarantee that, yes, from last week. So let's let's talk about what happened on Redneck Island. The show opens up with the um, cast members coming back to the fort. Yep. And uh, it's now girls against guys, isn't it? Yep. It is girls against the guys. And they want to break up that girl alliance, too. Who, who was yeah. the first one to do it? Who was the first one to step up and, go, and like, initiate? Misty. Bucket. 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 Oh, Bucket and Cody had the conversation yeah. about, well, yeah. let's get these girls mm -hmm. yep, out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, I just realized the importance of the Girls Alliance because I didn't know how the final challenge in Redneck Island took place the other seasons. I didn't realize it's when it comes to the last episode, it is a challenge. Oh, yeah. Um, and physicality is a big part of this. So definitely the girls really need to hang in tight there because guys do have an upper advantage in they most sure physical do. challenges. Mm -hmm. as, as seen in the episode this week. Yeah. Right, and if you if you look at um, the, the finale of season two, it was a guy that won. Right, and I'm mm -hmm. excited that one of our guests, our guest today is Brittany Woodle because she, we're going to talk to her about the physical I challenges. Always, I, I always saw her as one of the guys anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I can't wait. I'm because she, yeah. because yep. she goes balls to the wall. She yeah. does. She does. Yep. So, um, okay, so there's only three guys left. Yeah. And they got their money in Brittany M's basket, and they've got all their hopes in Misty's basket. Mm -hmm. And that's that their, their, their whole game revolves around is Misty and Brittany going right. to show them compassion if they're not winning the challenges. Yep. So you got Joe, Cody, Bucket were left, right? Yep. And then... Um, and I think they think they're invincible. <laughs> they really felt like they were invincible. Sure, yeah. Well, we have a special guest on the line. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, who do we have on the line? Hi, everybody. It's Woodle. How are y'all doing? Oh, Hi, Woodle. How you doing, Hello. girl? Hi, honey. Welcome to the show. Yeehaw. Y'all like, look great. I'm looking at y'all. Do I look? Do I look good? Especially me, girl. I want to make sure I look good. He should. He only took an hour on his hair today. <laughs> what, what are you wearing? What are you doing? Where are you at? I'm in good old South Carolina, drinking a sweet tea. Oh, right of course. Are you on your porch? <laughs> On my porch, no. The mosquitoes will eat me if I stay out there. <laughs> oh well, it's True. better than it's better than all those boys trying to eat you on the island. True. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, little. You're not cracking a beer in honor today? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I actually have a. I'm not even supposed to be having my sweet tea. I started um, a workout regimen and I've lost 22 pounds. Since oh, time. oh, good God. for you. Yeah. Congratulations. That is great. You deserve to fly to Beverly Hills, and I'm going to make you a dress. <gasps> Yay! I was, I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, after last week, what I did to your counterpart over there, did you like the way I handled it? I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for you. Thank you. Yeah. You're awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that we just, um, we're not allowed to fight on the island. Uh, as of oh, physically. Oh, you're not allowed to fight. 
So the fact that you just kind of gave it to them, I think you've been doing what all of us wanted to do the whole time. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay, so that was Redneck Approved, so we're going to go with it. Cool. Okay. The, uh, Brittany, we want to we bring you into our discussion as we go through the points of the show, and then we'd love to get your feedback as, as, uh, as a contestant. We talk, we're, we're at the point where Steve Mail is coming in, and when you watch the show, it, it, the, in, the, in the mail it said, Rednecks, you've been cooped up on this island for too long now. Today you'll get a chance to spread your wings, Steve. Were you, when you saw this challenge go down with the chickens, did you feel like you could have done well in that cha challenge? Oh, heck yeah. That's what I used to do when I was growing up. <laughs> So yeah, I used but, to, um, yeah. Um, my, my uncle had a farm, and they had a chicken coop in the back, and every morning we used to go out and pick uh, chicken eggs to eat. So, yeah, I think I could have done great with this one. I don't know if I could have chased a chicken around a coop like that. That was pretty hard. I, hard. Would, I would not <laughs> chase a chicken if it killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, I would be screaming at the top of my lungs going, get away from me, get away from this me. This is true. I would not I touch, think, I would not touch I it. I think it's funny that, um, you know, like candy, to me, if I, if I had been on the island still and candy was afraid of those chickens, I would have just said, hey, candy, get them all, like, chase them over to one area. You know, if you're not going to touch them, you might as well help out and push them all to one side of the the, you know, area yeah. so that mm -hmm. the next person could catch more of them. Yeah, but you know, Joe had a good idea. Joe was thinking that maybe they should look at the little numbers on their little legs. Right. And yeah. nobody did. They ended up with, what, four chicken wings and one... <laughs> well, let's break it down. One egg We'll or... break it down. Bucket and Misty were the first group that went, and Bucket caught 12 and Misty eight. And then it was, what, Candy and Stacy, and Candy was four, and Stacy was... Two? Oh, two? Yeah. No, 11. No, she was yeah. 11. She was 11, mm -hmm. right? And, and Stacy was 11. Candy's the one that said, oh, my God, we're like the stupidest rednecks anywhere. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then Cody got, and then Cody and Lindsay went, and they each got the same. They got yeah. seven and seven. Mm -hmm. And then B-Mart and Joe went, and B-Mart had the lowest. She got two. Right. Well, what did you think of that strategy? Let's not look at the numbers on the feet, because each, each chicken was tagged with either a plus or a minus, like you're going to get... Four hot dogs, or you're going to lose four hot dogs. Well, that's what Joe told him. Joe said, yeah. "Look at yeah. the number, because mm -hmm. then you're going to end up." I think it was a very lazy strategy. Mm -hmm. I think it was just let's a free for all and go and see yeah. what we come up with, and it wasn't yeah. smart at all. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but do you think they loaded them with a, a, a bunch of beer and and just <laughs> let them loose with the chickens and said, <laughs> "What what what do you think happened before?" We saw what we saw. Right. What usually happens before these challenges? I'm curious. Not much. <laughs> really? Not much happens before this because, you know, they're like pretty they don't, much how you see it is how it is. You mean they don't so, prep you? They don't say, uh, well, this is what we're going to do. Why don't you fix your hair no. and makeup? Put um, your hair in a ponytail? No, like, <laughs> yeah, they look like no. they're wearing hair, makeup and hair. No, yeah, I mean, no. you know. <laughs> I, I love though. That. So it's, <laughs> you know, they, um, you know, we'll get there and uh, they're filming as we're walking in. So oh. they, they, you know, the whole time that we're like, you know, coming on to the set or whatever, they're filming all that. They film everything that Steve says and then, um, it's go time. And then Woodle, like when you're there's, walking there's to nothing a nothing in between there. When you're walking to a challenge, are you allowed to talk to the other cast members or you have to be totally quiet till you get to like what's the, what are the rules like that? Um when we uh, when we walk as long as we're out of um, range for our microphones, we're not allowed to talk. Uh -huh. So mm. yeah, just because they don't want to miss anything, you know, you don't want to miss any part of anything that's going on so if we're right. walking like when you see us walk to um, like you couldn't anything do, down the beach like you couldn't uh, sneak away down the beach yeah. you couldn't sneak away turn off your mic and go i hate travis and then kind of come back into <laughs> it <laughs> like that couldn't happen <laughs> i'm just saying like you know like an instance like that Brittany, you know um <laughs> I, I don't i don't have a lot of chicken experience but uh were those chickens small 
Were they small, or is that the average shot size of a chicken? They weren't foster farms. They that was your trick. They didn't skinny. strike me as being. No. They weren't um, inflated like with a saline. Size. I think they were probably on the smaller end of yeah. like a medium sized chicken. You yeah. know, the, I always thought um, someone told me that chickens can actually be kind of hostile. Um, uh -oh. Those seemed actually pretty nice. I've seen I've oh, seen yeah. cockfights. So is yeah. that what it is? So is it only is it only that the uh, right, roosters are only aggressive and no. the chickens are all very <laughs> nice and polite and yeah I see. <laughs> yeah I don't think so. It didn't look like that. Haven't you <laughs> seen I've the never, cartoon? I've like never <laughs> run into a hostile hen. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm from South Carolina, the home of the fighting Gamecocks. So Ooh. that's what we're out for. I told you, I've seen cocks fight. <laughs> wow. I have. But you, but you know what the best thing I think about this was? Is when uh, Steve announces how many chickens they caught and they're just cheering and they're excited thinking they're getting all this food, I'm gonna eat so much all this food. beer everything <laughs> and, and then what happened was it Satan <laughs> yeah. was it Stacy or was it um the other Brittany that said she, they, she came up with a theory that there has to be more positive numbers out there than negative like yeah. they wouldn't that was Stacy yeah. so, okay so believe me I would never a... ever ever assume that ever <laughs> <laughs> as soon as yeah. As soon as Steve said that, I thought, uh-uh, there's a catch to this, and then there he goes. But before I did the math, yeah. and I thought, oh, yeah. Yep, that's right. Like, yeah. he, I know y'all just didn't think that Steve was going to say, y'all had all, like, <laughs> and explain it. Enjoy. There were 62 chickens right. caught, of which they only received four chicken wings, one-eighth of a burger, one bottle of moonshine, which Misty really brightened up when she heard that. And um, they got a cage full of live chickens, which I hope they don't eat. I hope they just yeah, but they got the egg. egg. Oh, and they only yeah. got two beers. That was so two bad. Beers. Two but beers. But they got an egg. By the they time did. they ended up at yeah. camp, how far did they have to walk? Because that chicken laid an egg on the way. <laughs> no, I think when she got I don't, there. um... <laughs> Like, was it a long where walk? Where they were, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know how far that walk is from where um, from where that scene is. How far usually are the challenges? How far away are they from camp? Like a mile, <gasps> and we have to walk the whole thing. Oh, wow. Jeez, and you have to walk wow. it in, in silence, right? For the majority of it until you get to... For the majority, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, okay, so it's really funny because all my rednecks will know what I'm talking about with whoever was leading the pack always felt the need to walk fast <laughs> of course me i'm like i'm like you know you're not supposed to be talking so of course i'm like whispering under my breath hey whoever's at the front slow down <laughs> y'all slow down so you'll see like the guys kind of fall back a little and then like it's always the same people at front i think it's Lindsay. she just <laughs> i guess is like a monster in the sand or something. Yeah. Wow. Well, by the wow. end, we're like all like having to run to get caught up with her before you know we walk into this challenge. See, I know it's uh, part of her strategy. She wants to tire you guys out. I, probably. Yeah. I know your pain. I know your pain. My mom used to be a power walking coach, which I know is a real coach. <laughs> you mean um, Little Egypt? Little Egypt. Yes. <laughs> she was. That was her job at mm -hmm. one point. Was to really. Walk professionally, walk <laughs> professionally women. walk women. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. and Why, they didn't know how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> not, not right. <laughs> anyway, she okay. is a speed demon, and I'm always like, "What the hell?" I'd like to take you up on that challenge. <laughs> sure. Yeah. because no, because okay. mama get my mama gave me some hips to walk okay. with. Okay. <laughs> All right, Brittany. Um, here here's what I wrote from that segment. Bucket, when you guys get back, or you weren't there, but when when they get back, Bucket says, "I gotta watch my back around." Uh, he's talking about candy i gotta watch my back around here things get rough she'll eat uh she'll eat me so he was worried you know that yeah. well, because she gonna... took the fattest biggest <laughs> piece of chicken piece yeah. of chicken wing <laughs> and then by the time they were able to divvy up with the yeah. food yeah she was like halfway done with the bone coming out of her mouth yeah. <laughs> she was like He's, she's gonna eat me alive honestly i thought she was doing him a favor because she i thought she was just gonna go for all four because she said at Hooters that was her favorite meal every day right. she got a kid size. What, what I, all, if, can, if, what, if they didn't get any food and that's all they had, did they give you food? No? Well, so no, you go hungry no, all night? Um, <laughs> our food is we either earn it or just what we have laying around camp. 
Uh, what is laying around when camp? We got to camp. Mm-hmm. When we got to camp, there was um, oatmeal, spam, yeah. and rice. And like that's on, pretty much it. Like so on, you have to make that last. But like on Survivor, you see them go in the ocean and they catch fish and stuff. Are you allowed to do that? Do you guys have fishing equipment where you can go out and catch your own food if you need to? Or are there fruit trees yeah. around? Or is there stuff like that? They don't that even actually... know how to catch chicken to okay. count to get well, food. Well, Patrick, they did win the <laughs> yeah, fishing the, poles. Uh, yeah, the only yeah, Cody was that right. every fish that you catch, you can't eat. We, um, um oh. like after the... Um, challenge the Steve says where we had the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know how uh, we we won the fishing rods or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember we, that. <laughs> yeah, we go out fishing and the first thing they catch is a puffer fish. Oh. oh. Yeah, and it's like blown up and you can't <laughs> eat it. And all. Yeah. Oh my so, god. <laughs> there's that, Damn. but nobody listened to me when I said uh, <laughs> during that challenge, I'm a uh, real big into crabbing. Here, oh. you know at the beach so if you take a chicken neck and you attach it to a, a rope you She's just right. throw it out yeah. into the ocean huh. and then you reel it in real slow and yeah. a crab a crab just follows it until you we, catch it so we, they were trying to eat these fiddler crabs and i'm like what are y'all doing kill that chicken <laughs> neck you say I do no we completely understand me uh we your cousins in North Carolina or South yeah, Carolina? Yeah, I've been I've been uh, crabbing with chicken neck necks in uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina. She's absolutely right. Go. But we needed a net. We couldn't get them without mm. a net. Oh, you grabbed them without a net? We no, I think we had a net in mm. our uh, in our um, toolbox. We just never had anything to use. Oh it for. my goodness! Are you sad that you're not there? Oh yeah. Right. I cried. I, yeah, I cried for uh, like days and days. But um, I tell you, we like, were I rooting think I for got you. I a lot more out of it than um, just the average person. You know, not only did I make like great friends, and this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, uh, and I proved a lot to myself. I think I learned more about myself than I did other people. But I just remember being on that island thinking, like, thank you, God, you know, for putting me out here because this is, I mean, I. I live at the beach, and I'm not going to go camp out there with, you know, under the stars. But it's something that, I mean, pretty much like I guess I took for granted here where I live. And I just kind of it opened my eyes to to be able to live my life differently. So what, so, are, you doing, what are you doing different now? You're off the island, and before you got onto the island, how did you decide to even go? How did, how did that, all that come about? Did somebody uh, dare you? <laughs> did somebody what? Did somebody, uh, like, did you take a dare? Yes, Woodall, you oh, could no. go. <laughs> no, but if anybody does dare me, I'm always, like, the first to jump at, at doing something. Um, no, actually, I had just moved home from Nashville. Oh. And uh, I was out there doing the country music thing because I write country music. Oh. And, yeah, surprise. Well, <laughs> why don't you get, why don't you and Travis get into a band? <laughs> Well, if I could stand them long enough. <laughs> I love but, you more now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so. I just moved home from Nashville, and I was I had like a week between oh, wow. the time that I moved home and when I had to go to work. So, you know, of course, I'm watching TMT because it reminds me of Nashville, and I see the show on, and I'm like, oh, if I want to be on that, I better put in an application early as possible. So I did that, and I saw season two come on and kind of just forgot about it because they didn't pick me for season two. And then February, um, I got a phone call. Hey, we're looking at you for season three. And it is um, it's a pretty fast-going thing. It's uh, like a, I think I had two phone interviews, a Skype interview, uh, send in my video of my daily life. And um, then we go out to L.A. and do all the physical, uh, all the physical tests, like a stress test, lung capacity test, blood test, 
Yeah. Let me um, yeah. let me, let me uh, take you off this topic and back to the island. When you're watching sure. this strategy go on, like for example, right now, Bucket is strategizing with Misty and B Mart. Are, do you think that's a good strategy? Do you like what Bucket's doing? Do you think he's playing a good game? Um, I'm trying to think it through. Well, he wants to throw um, Joe under I the bus that, right mm -hmm. away. Hooking He's, up with Misty. Is, oh. I think hooking up with Misty is a really good, really, really good game. You know, when we talk, but, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You said but? Um, but the thing to me is Bucket wanted Misty gone from, like, day one. So Interesting. Hmm. As that's, if, if that's how bad you want somebody like that gone, I would say the first chance you get, jump at it. And you need to, I mean, I hate to say it, you do have to play go, both sides of the card, but everybody knows that the same person that's saving you is going to turn around and stab you in the back. So instead of, I feel like you should turn into a, a marketing person at that time, and you should really whatever you have to do to sell the product, which is be on my team. Right. How well, else yeah. do I have to break it down to mm -hmm. you to be on this team? Mm -hmm. so. Which mm -hmm. I'm sure, you know, you never got, because you were always on the winning team, and unfortunately the, the time you were eliminated was before they even had their first individual uh, immunity trial. But um, So is this the game that you were going to try and play that you just never really got the chance? No, <laughs> no. I, I try and play as clean as possible, and um, I knew that there were going to be some really tough decisions, and I just felt like if it came down to it and I really just could not put someone's name on a can, um, like if it came down to having to put Bucket's name on a can, I, I told Bucket that I wouldn't do that. So instead of going back on my word, I would much rather put my own name on a can because no one keep, no one thinks this is that someone can be voted off with two cans as long as everyone else votes for someone else. That's true. Yeah. Everybody's mm -hmm. trying to get like the majority votes. You don't really need that. You just need more than everybody else. And when I said that on the island, everybody looked at me like I was Albert Einstein. <laughs> like, how did you how did you come up with that? That was mad. Right. I was kind of, I was kind of shocked though when Bucket said let's give up Joe. I it was kind of like a, I think it came out of nowhere. Because because he knows that the girls he knows that the girls like him, so the girls are going to keep him around as long as they can. Well, and that so they he'd be the only Cody guy too. there on the yeah. island well, with one girl left, right? And then he would well, be able to they, beat him at the challenge. Well, well they didn't show you that um, prior to they didn't show it because there was so much drama with the blue team. <laughs> that the green team had been talking about that the whole time. Oh. Talking mm. about what? Throwing Joe out. Talk it, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. interesting. Yeah. Because it looked like it just um, came out of nowhere. Is it because? It kind of come out of nowhere. Is it because the green Misty? Team has already discussed that. Is that the one that Joe was in the shower scene all that naked was, no, with that the was girl? Cody. That was Cody. Cody. Oh, so they kept Cody. <laughs> Yeah, they kept. Oh, uh, so yeah. Cody's the male stud on the island for all the women right now. Right. They got rid of Joe, so there wouldn't be any competition in buckets like Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, you know what? Okay, so we got Misty. Uh, you know, because Misty's playing both sides, she opens herself up to some vulnerability, which Candy could smell. Right. Which okay. is like we saw with. Yep. Uh, was it? Was it Stacy that we just had the same problem with in the last episode? Oh, yeah, right. Well, right. they watched her go into the guy's camp, and yeah. she was hanging out there, and they were all outside. The girls were right. like, yeah, and, oh, well, she's been in there for longer than, you know, having a conversation. Right. Yeah, they right. jumped on her like wolves. So they don't trust dead her. Meat. Yeah, yeah, so. Do you think, Brittany, it was here. a good idea for the girls um, to get to take Joe out versus Cody. I mean, you're watching this like we are. I personally thought they should have taken out Cody while they had the chance. He's a more fierce competitor and a better manipulator game player. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree um, that they should have taken out Cody when they had the opportunity. Um, but when you're in the game and you're, you know, that's your friend. You know, you're sitting, you're mm -hmm. battling yourself between what what you should do as a good friend and what you should do as you know as a great uh, competitor. You know what? Oh, how good of a friend are you? You guys met three minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, where? How is well, the friendship being cemented here? Uh, 
I don't know. I know that for, I don't think for everybody it's the same. But I mean, I just, I feel like a lot of people are tuned into their word. Mm, you know, you yeah. want, mm-hmm. there's so, so many people just want to keep their word and want to do the right thing. And, you yeah, know, you just have to that. sit there and say, well, is the right thing in the game for you or is the right thing in the game for, to hold true to your, morals and values oh, right. which it's, is what Brittany did and yeah, she was able yeah. to go up. now Brittany let me ask you this we're going to talk about that challenge which to me looked like the f- most ferocious challenge I've ever seen <laughs> on Redneck Island when the Steve mail right, came Steve, for the yeah, reckoning right yep yeah did you write it down <laughs> I did I okay. love it I love the quote okay. girls got them guys got them rednecks got them and we need to put them to the wall Oh, that yeah. was great. Balls to the wall. <laughs> balls to the wall. Yeah, it was. it's the reckoning. Uh, Steve calls it balls out. And yeah. oh my gosh, do you want to describe what they had to do? Those balls look big. Yeah. <laughs> and Huge. That, and they, they looked heavy. Yeah, well, they, 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 everyone has a color-coordinated mm-hmm. ball and T-shirt, and so you want to try and get your team members out by pulling their balls and throwing them outside of this circle. Right. Uh, but what was, what was really, like, mind-blowing of that was how vicious the guys were. Oh my Brittany, God. What they did came you think in attacked right away. <laughs> oh, knock it down. Um, yeah. If I was Candy and I think it was Bucket. Yeah. Was Bucket or Joe who threw her on the ground, I would have whooped some serious ass. <laughs> yeah, it was Bucket that knocked yeah. Candy just flat yeah, but, yeah, ass. but you can't blame him. Yeah. He, he couldn't see because when you're behind the ball and you're pushing the ball and she happened to be in the back of it, Maybe. she just fell down because she didn't use force to have to but push it's, back. But it's interesting when I was watching the challenge because I was trying to figure out in my brain when I first started, I'm like, okay, they've got two options. They can either protect their own ball or they're, you know, they're going to try and get somebody I, else's out. I would have protected really... my ball. Well, yeah. I think one of the big things here is based off of what Brittany says that they can't talk before the challenge right. um, I'm assuming they're probably not talking when the they're doing the reset ups as well I mean this is really when they're building their alliances you know at that last part where uh, I think it was Bucket and um, who was he with that they were Misty Bucket and Misty were protecting the same ball I mean if you guys if a group of people get together too closely that is a big statement right there yeah but the guys oh, just went yeah. in there and their oh, whole thing was, was kick out the girls that right there that uh, like <laughs> first off the, oh, there's two things about that challenge. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, no one is playing defense. The only time that anyone right. played defense was once they started running out of gas. Because mm-hmm. you have to know, they're only going to go after a ball that's being pushed around. If you leave your ball over to the side, why would they yeah, go Yeah, they're not yeah. going to go right. over there. Hey, that's what I said. <laughs> I love right? Woodle. You know what? Now, the other thing uh-huh. is that Misty stood in front of that ball with Bucket and <laughs> That right there, if that didn't put, I don't want to say an X on her back, but if she didn't think that someone was going to see that and think, oh, hell no, right. then you know, there's a, you know, there's a different way to play that. Instead of standing in front of Bucket's ball, she could have just kind of wandered off or doing something else. Yeah, yeah. pretended to be tying yeah. her shoelace now, or whatever. Why, uh, yeah. why when we were down to the last two balls, it was Bucket and Cody, mm-hmm. why didn't the girls just let the guys battle it out and just sit back? Right. One of them had to go and it should, I mean, why were they working so hard at Because that? they were mad that they, it was an emotional thing because they were mad that Cody was able to get their balls out, so they were retaliating, <laughs> saying, oh my God, I want his ball out. But it was right. also, if you notice, towards the end of it, they were exhausted. They oh, were panting. Yeah. They just stopped. They couldn't move. I mean, how hot does it get on that island? It's got to be excruciating. Uh, it's hot. It's um, it's not necessarily that like it's hot, hot, but there's no shade. Uh. So there's nowhere to like cover up. There's nowhere to go to. So if you guys like, were doing yourself, if you're doing that. the if you're doing the challenge and you're in the hot sun, did they let you take a break and get like a water oh, no. break? Oh no! No, no, they don't have water bottles. That's what it is. I mean, it's, yeah. well, you mean really I like when they when they had uh, B Mart was uh-huh. the last girl standing, yeah. and she man, she 
fought and fought and fought. But man, I felt so bad for her because Joe just went right out to there and just, that was it. Gun yeah. for her and got her out. It happened with Candy too, but um, you know, she showed that redneck attitude of, I'm fine, I'm cool. Yeah. You know, she's got a big bump on the back of her head, yeah. but oh, it's all good. Um, actually, my first image though, when this whole thing started, was I just imagined Woodle there and her being at the goal. One of the balls coming, she just sucker punches it so hard and knocks him back 10 feet. She would have just all kicked all the guys' asses. Because that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been for my whole life. I, I really and, believe, Woodle, you would have kicked yeah. all the guys' asses. You, you would have. Right. <laughs> but, but you know what? I think, I think you were one of those girls that the guys would think you're one of the guys, the girls would think you're one of the girls, yeah. and the guys wouldn't want to mess with you, and the girls would be afraid. I think you're I one think of those right. girls. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and when you lost, what, what, what 12 seconds? Something ridiculous? Right. Yeah. That was just painful for me to see. I mean, yeah. you did your hardest. I mean, I'm just trying to go back and relive that moment. That What do you think you could have done different that could have gained, like, the extra 10 seconds for you? Uh, I don't know. I because uh, I because when you came down that shoot, you flew. You flew. Oh I mean, you could have been in China. Yeah, but I, I mean, you I, were. I know. But Lula, I gotta ask you because when I was watching you do that challenge, and I felt so bad. I felt like they set it up to kick you out yeah. because those challenges, that challenge where you where you left, that looks so tough. Yeah. Going up the hill like that, and I mean, how did you? I mean, that was that's gotta have been really tough. Well, the hill was no problem, but oh, I think it was coming back in the water. And I, I, yeah. I heard the girls and the guys, you know, rooting for you, and you're, they're like, "Come on, Woodle!" And it just were you how uh, far of a how far of a how far out was that you had to go in the water? And was it? I don't know, maybe uh, fifteen yards. Mm -hmm. But Woodle, when you were in the water, were you like, "I'm not going to make this"? I'm tired. I'm going to get. I, I have a shot. You know, twelve seconds oh, no. isn't a lot. Oh no! I totally like. No, I am. Um, always pushing as, as hard as I can until the end. That, um, yeah, so that swim, actually, I wasn't even worried about the swim. It was the running and the, mm -hmm. you know, like... Uh, the, going up the, the hill. Time, just thinking, like, how can you shave seconds? And right. yeah. for me, like, everybody was going down, like, belly first, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, you're creating drag. Don't do that. Once you get... <laughs> Like, once you get in the tube, lift up your butt, and then you'll scoot as far as you can. And you did. You right. shot Pretty off much. like yeah. a torpedo. You were just, I thought you gained 30 seconds on that. Quoting Bucket, not just 100, it's 110, 115, 150%. <laughs> It's oh, like you just shot out of a that. cannon. I loved wow. it. I thought it was great. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back to see. Okay, so now it's up to Cody or uh, Co well, Bucket Safe. Cody versus. And it's really, yeah. yeah bucket. One of the guys have to go. This yep. girl alliance mm -hmm. is way too strong. Yep. Uh, I like what Stacy said because this is why they picked Joe over Cody. Apparently, Joe <laughs> was putting one over on the whole camp. Uh, yeah. Stacy says in a whisper, she goes, we don't know if Joe has any brains or not. <laughs> As if he was, like, hiding that. Right. Like, oh, this whole time, I'm putting one over on you. Yeah. But it was just so cute. Because she was like, he could be smart. <laughs> we don't know. We got to get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> so, who, do you think, who do you think is going to win? Uh, you, were the, you were there long it's enough. it's going to be between Cody or Bucket. What? I, you don't think it's going to be against gonna two guys? I, I think we got that from Phil, too, who said. I still think bucket. from day one, I uh, said yeah. Misty. I For some reason, I think Misty's going to do I don't know why. Misty's I'm in all the for best. Candy. Let me, First Woodle, but no. Yeah. She's gone. I think Misty's going to do it. You know what? Let me just say this, Patrick. Um, I think Misty is in the best seat out of mm -hmm. all the cast members. Well, because she's, she's playing in, all sides. She's playing every side. Three alliances. Yeah. Exactly. She's in three and there's only two teams. Yeah. <laughs> no. no one's going to want to vote Misty out because um, that gives them, a, th that just makes I, them a weaker player. So I, Misty's in it till the end. Yeah, I don't know. Woodle just brought up a good point, though. She clearly just threw out there in that challenge that she's got something going on with Bucket. With bucket. So. Um, you know, no, I don't I mean, know. Yeah, but the, girls, the but the girls Remember, need her vote. I said day one, Misty. That's my pick. I still think it's my pick. 
Wow. <laughs> well, um, all the eggs. Well, okay. So really, the deciding factor in these votes is going to be from Brittany M, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And Misty. They're gonna they're gonna call the shots. Mostly Brittany M because she's gonna yeah. have to you know decide if she's gonna throw Cody out or not, and she doesn't she so, doesn't know yet. But uh, here's a quote that Cody says because he is like. Cody is freaking out, and he yeah. says to Bucket, I wish I had a vagina for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was, that was great. <laughs> I want to know what you're doing next, Woodle. <laughs> I think the viewers want to know what you're doing. What are you up to? Listen, I am trying to get my hand in everything. Um, I don't know. I, right now, I'm thinking about creating a show. Mm -hmm. um, I would love... I, I'm like, I'm in love with TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then again, I know, I know y'all hear that from everyone. I have been in entertainment since I was very young. I've always been on a stage. I have always been in theater. I've always been dancing. I, I actually Wait. was a are you are you years old. Are you Honey Woodle? <laughs> you must be Honey Woodle. Honey Woodle. That's what everyone says. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were She's Honey Woodle. A Hilarious. distant cousin, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> it could, it, that could be very plausible. Who knows? <laughs> well, well, you're more than welcome to come and mm -hmm. fill in for us at After Buzz over here. Hey. 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 I would love to. Well, I want to do, awesome. uh, Mike and I want to um, talk about y'all's show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That was so sweet. He tweeted uh, yeah. and everything. Did you watch it? <laughs> I watched clips of it, and I think it is hilarious. And Paul, I need you to um, read my copy. <laughs> His Armenian you copy. Read my copy and tell well, me that there well, do you know that Jenny had a baby? Show in my copy grind. I would <laughs> love to hear that. You know that Jenny had a baby, right? No, but of course I'm sitting there saying, oh, gosh, he says it's a girl. Now I'm like, oh, now I want to know about Jenny. So well, let me tell you what happened. Book. When they first came to the house, I made dinner that night. <laughs> and she had been to the doctor previously that morning, but nobody knows this, not even the cast and the crew. We sit down for dinner, and I told Patrick right before, because we gave them wine, I'm like, Patrick, she shouldn't be drinking. She's pregnant. And he goes, no, she's not. If she was pregnant, she wouldn't be drinking. I said, I don't know. So while we're at dinner, I'm whispering to her, and Jeff doesn't even know this. So I whispered to her, and I'm like, are you pregnant, Jeff? I mean, his eyes blew up, and that's when I knew he starts hating me. Because we were like besties right before that moment. And him and Jenny go at it at each other. They have altercation. And she goes... Oh, I don't know. I just came here from the doctor, and they ran some tests. I said, honey, you're pregnant. You're going to find out you're pregnant. Give me that wine. So I took it away from her because apparently I'm controlling. And then, <laughs> and then the next day when she comes back, she says, I called my doctor. I'm pregnant. So I looked at the coffee cup, and I'm like, you're having a girl. And can I just say that two weeks ago, she had a baby girl. She had a baby girl. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Wow. How do you come on over? I, 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 I get 50 bucks for every read. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not only that, but I heard you say earlier tonight that um, you like the, you would like a Swarovski um, sledgehammer. Like sledgehammer. Uh -huh. It's really funny because I just did. Um, I have a guitar that has Swarovski like crystals all over it. Oh, mm -hmm. beautiful! So I will have to decorate. A hammer for you. Woohoo! <laughs> He's gonna get one. Fabulous. Oh, so what all? You're my like favorite. Any true redneck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Brittany, while we're talking about celebrities, I'm so curious uh, about the executive producer Steve Austin. What are your thoughts on him? I love Steve. I couldn't say enough good things about Steve. Um, he is awesome. He's so smart within the business. I mean, he is someone that I really look up to. I listen to his webcast and everything that he puts out there. I love to just be a little sponge and soak up everything he has to say because I think he's just amazing. And um, real I, quick, I just think that Travis 
is crazy. And okay. like, I think you're right to say disrespectful for yes. mm-hmm. even thinking that, um, I mean, just from a Southern point of view, like you don't talk back to people who are your elders or anything like that, but yeah. to go on someone's show and say things like well, that. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You were there when he apparently had a misunderstanding with <laughs> Steve because when he was getting voted off, Steve was misunderstanding him, what he was saying. What was all that about? Do you um, know? I wasn't over there. I was, uh, the green team is separated from Oh, the so you team. wouldn't even mm-hmm. see yeah. it. But you know who we can no. get on the show is maybe we can get Candy on the show to explain that. And speaking of Candy. Does that yeah. mean you're wanting her to get voted off now? No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but I think she could come on before and maybe, you know. Yeah. yeah well, we can have these guys on multiple times. Sure. Um, Candy is such an awesome player. Like, remember in the elimination and Bucket, like, throws out a snide comment and she just nails him mm-hmm. and tells her, well, you know, we, we're we still women and we're still never going to be as good as guys right. physically, uh, biologically. The yep. components aren't there. You know, it just seems like you can try and put Candy over like that, but it's yeah. not going to happen. She's yeah. going to fight for it. Well, I think we're coming to a close here, so just one uh, couple of last questions from us. Um, I just wanted to know, in your personal opinion, you said you've made a lot of friends on the show. Who are some of the guys that you, or, or girls, that you just still keep in touch with? Because it is really cool to make those kind of relationships on a show like Mike. this. Mike. <laughs> yeah. Mike, yeah, yeah, of course, Mike. Yeah, but... Um, I, I keep in touch with all of them. We're in a uh, Facebook chat 24-7. Oh, Every single great. one of us. So, oh. you know, we get up and we're like, good morning, rednecks. Or go to sleep. Good night, rednecks. Or <laughs> good morning, <laughs> You know, I mean, we love each other. And um, I think that, you know, the more the, the show goes on, you know, we're seeing some things that we didn't see before. But I don't think it's enough to... You know, rip us apart. I think if it is, then that's kind of stupid because well, we are only, there's only 15 of us. And we I'm have glad. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, I'm that's glad right. you guys have forged yeah. a special bond being a part of something so great that you guys really, really enjoyed. It's it's a memorable thing. It really is. It's what, truly nice. One last question, Woodle, and then we have to let you go. Um, okay. Are we going to see you in Hollywood soon? Is that, yeah. is that what your goal is? You want to come to Hollywood? Welcome to Hollywood, I baby. Hope so. I love I've been there a few times. I love it. Um, I will do anything to be on the stage because I just love the energy and making people laugh and just everything. So um, I hope so. Okay, well, where I can— I hope that I get the opportunity to do that. Well, tell us where uh, where people can find you, Brittany. Sure. Um, on Twitter, at Brittany Woodle. Um, on Facebook, um, uh, it's facebook.com slash Redneck Island, Brittany Woodle. You can Snapchat me at Brittany Woodle, or you can Instagram me at Brittany Woodle. So wow. it's real easy. Wow. Follow, right. I'm following you on everything. <laughs> I was just, just, just going to say, I hope. I hope me too. Wait, I that. hope you T-vote interior therapy with Jeff Lewis. It's called Fabulous Delusion. You need to watch it. It's going to be awesome. And Brittany, we hope to have you back on the show before it ends. Got Thank a couple more for shows. having yeah. me. So Thank much. you That's for coming on. On today. Okay, thanks, Brittany. Bye, Brittany. And that being said, let's talk about where we can find the PP Boys. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Patrick Simpson, Instagram, uh-huh. Facebook, Twitter, um, and Snow White 90210, <laughs> and Paula 2, P O L A T T E U. You heard it from Brittany Woodall. You want to be my friend. That's right. And <laughs> Bravo TV, keep your eyes open because you're going to be able to see their full episode probably in the next few days. And if you don't see it, you can see the bonus clips right now. Yep. I'm Little Egypt. You can find me on Twitter at, at Little Egypt, uh, Facebook, the official page of Little Egypt. And, and formerly and- known as Little Sphinxy, who is now Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> and then Catfish, you can't find, you, you're not going to be able to find Cat- Fish don't have Facebooks. <laughs> <laughs> Not real ones. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. 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 The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.